Now, this has happened to me in the past, and what ended up happening is that I had to purchase a new circuit board for my Hayward Pool Products, one source every pool for my salt water system, as you can see. This thing lasts about three years, outside of warranty, burnt up, had to buy a new one. The first time I had to replace it cost me $485, plus a $65 fee for the initial uh, evaluation for them to come out here and tell me that it was this was what was wrong. So I paid it. I kept my other board. Turn it on. As you can see, the flow, no flow is working, the lights are working, the diagnostics, the buttons are working, everything seems to be working. But it's going to take a little bit of time. Sorry for this length of time, but I think it's going to take about two minutes. I'm going to clock out and come right back. Minutes, and then you can see the generating lights come on, but no power light. And then a few seconds later, You'll see the generator light just went out, bam. That's a sign that you've had an electric uh, lightning hit or power surge, and that is a sign that you're gonna have to either replace your board or maybe fix it, like I'm gonna show you. Things first, let's turn off the power. For me, I have a power switch that goes straight to my power, goes to this box right here, which powers this, so now I know there's no electricity. First thing you wanna do is take off these screws go ahead and take these off pull this out the uh, salt water chlorinator device unplug the flow device screws about out pull that out and then you pull this out boom and it reveals the mechanism in your control box so the next thing you want to do is disconnect the power on mine are black and white and you got to make sure how it's connected. I am disconnected the power. You want to be safe at all times. Electricity can kill. So you want to go ahead and remove this one and you want to remove this one for the power. Take this one out, and I can see, look over here, you can already see that this has been burnt out, and you can see this is the damage. The damage is that thermistor. All right. You want to connect this and this, disconnect it from the board. As you can see I, I have a needle nose pliers. You want to give it some support as you pull it out of there. Great wires out, pull the power out, pull these wires out, pull these wires out. I've loosened these bolts here and after you've loosened these bolts down here, you will then be able to pull this out and voila, the system has come out just like that. Simple as pie. So here's the circuit board that I brought in that I just took out. As you can see here, here is a thermistor and as you can see close up, it's cracked from the heat you can see that the dark spots on the circuit board where it's burnt out you go here you can see the dark spots right there burnt out so the next step of this uh, is to take out so that's what's burnt out that's what we're going to replace here's this other circuit board that I had the original this is the one I replaced in 2012 it is now June 19 2015 uh, original one, I, uh, this one burnt out, I didn't know any better, I bought this, I had to spend $450 just to replace this plus another $85 with the labor, a lot of money. And I didn't want to pay that again now that I had I found out that this is probably a surge and this here, this thermistor prevents a surge from affecting the rest of the circuit board. Let's hope that that's the case. So now the first thing I'm going to do is that we need to remove this uh, dial uh, portion out of there. And the way we do that is by pinching these sides everywhere here to make it come out. Voila, put that off to the side. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and solder these. So here we are. I'm going to start soldering here on this seat, the, these two broken pieces to come out. I'm going to start from the back and try to loosen them up with the heat uh, with the soldering iron uh, here ooh, gotta be careful Whew, 
Ooh, it's heating up that. I probably need a uh, plier so you don't burn your fingers. Let's try it again. There it goes. All right, so I took out those two uh, that are there on the original, and now here's the, the most recent purchase, and I'm gonna try and take this one out. Okay, so you wanna do it from the back. Enough heat, oh, there it goes, loose. Let me try the other one. And it pops out. As you can see, here's the part. Take a good look at that part. SL32 2R025 made by Amethyst and this is a thermistor. You can see the crack that's in this thermistor already that's happened. Can you see the crack? There it is. Needs to be replaced. Next, 